what is up everyone this is Kiran here and welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel all guys we're waiting for the xiaomi eu based android version 11 mini 12 for the redmi note 8 users and finally it's here it's android 11 it's quite good but it's they are saying miui 12.5 but it is actually not a MIUI 12.5. Even they said in the change log that it's MIUI, no, it's not MIUI 12.5. MIUI 12.5 will come maybe mid to late January. So this is the first thing about this build which I was disappointed a lot. Why you are mentioning MIUI 12.5? might be a bug or whatever but it's not a good thing but here it is we have Mi 12 based xiaomi eu 20.1 21.1.6 beta version based on android version 11 for this redmi note 8 device this is android version 11 not a good build not a stable build i will recommend you to wait for some few builds before installing this one but still if you want to install i'm going to share with you the installation also and stay tuned make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started so you already know that MIUI 12 is the Android version 11 custom Android version 11 officially is now available for the Redmi Note 8 user. A China beta 21.1.5 was already released. I made a video on that one. If you haven't checked it out, you can go and check it out. And like this one, this is also same which has the Android version 11 expectedly. So the best thing is it's based on Android version 11. Some guys were asking for it and also includes the features which includes this pill from here and the full screen gestures and floating windows etc are working and available which were just removed in the android version 10 update but still if really this is the android version 11 build is smooth it's not as smooth as i was expecting honestly we have the security patch first of november 2020 same kind of thing which you get in the 21.1.5 china beta it's of course based on the china beta so all the things are almost same uh, just what is the difference is you don't get any kind of chinese apps no blotware and nothing else like that but everything else is same also of course google apps etc are pre-installed which were of course not available in the china beta the things which you get here this is not mio 12.5 first of all as i just yesterday told everyone that this is kind of a scam this is not mio 12.5 even you will see if you open this uh, let me tell you what you will see you will see this logo which is now redesigned and uh, this is a very good kind of a copy of a MIUI 12.5 which is kind of really really disappointed because some guys were wondering that if it is really MIUI 12.5 so the very very bad thing about Xiaomi EU why did, did this I don't know but MIUI 12.5 they are saying and you can see the UI is same like MIUI 12 talking about the things almost everything is same to be same here display etc which includes the light mode and dark mode the new latest dark mode and light mode text size and font weight etc are same here going for other things for example sound and vibration as it's android version 10 android version 11 sorry so yes we have the sound assistant option available and so that's interesting thing other things silence mode etc all the things which you get in android version 11 are available if you don't know that what are the things you get in miui 12 android version 11 what is the difference between miui 12 android version 11 and miui 12 android version 10 i have a dedicated video on that one i'll provide you the link in the description or maybe in the cards you can go and check it out and find the difference which you get in android 10 and android 11 based on miui 12 MIUI 12.5 is not released so don't go for that MIUI 12.5 will release for this device maybe mid to late January which, which is of course maybe sure but maybe not sure. Let me show you the bug which I got till now. If you go here you will see this smart home option and you will see Android R Easter Egg. Don't open this. If you enable this from here and if you go for your control center you will see the control center will lag there and your control center will not work at all. You will need to force you need to force reboot your device for that so this is a little bit of disappointing thing let me show you the thing which i got and which is actually a bug this is a bug which i was talking about let me show you uh, here it is this is the bug which i was talking about you can see here this is blur and you'll need to just force reboot your device for it to work which is kind of a disappointing thing and you need to keep this thing in mind that this will not work so it's my suggestion not to enable the smart home by the way this was a bug in the android 11 based for kurtana which is redmi note 9 pro i installed there and this was bug there also so not sure about this is a device specific or what 
whatever else but control center etc are working and we have the switch control center layout option available if we use this one and very easy kind of thing same kind of thing which you get in mu 12 beta version same here but just only android version 11 some android version 11 features now talking about the some things which you get here maybe kind of a performance Performance is not up to the mark. This is kind of a really really laggy uh, app opening app closing is quite a little bit annoying It has some feeling lags if you use it for first time and you will not be able to use it for the long time Multitasking in sector doesn't seems to be really good Let me show you how much battery how much RAM management is going on and how is the RAM management Just go wait. Let me enable this one now we have the memory status option available let me show you how much ram it's consuming and i have 1.6 gb or 4 gb available but honestly let me tell you some rooms where you will see 1 gb free of the 4 gb you will see better performance than this and it has 1.6 gb free and still the performance is not good it's just my opinion not sure about you it's just my opinion in my device it's laggy and i considered with some guys in with my friend list and they said yes it's not that much fast it's not smooth but shell it's a uh, first build so yes we can expect some more cool interesting things very very soon about this let me show you some a little bit of two more things we have the geekman score and safety status test in my case i'm using the magisk v21.2 21.0 if you want to install magisk 20.3 that will not work so don't go for that one magisk 20.3 will not work and even if you install the magisk 21 it will definitely not install what you need to do is you need to install magisk modded version first like which you do in aosp based android version 11 builds i also have a dedicated video on that one too make sure to check out that one i have almost all the important things videos available and if you have any kind of problems you can watch those videos and that might be helpful for you moving on to the safety net status safety net status is passing very well without any issues but yes of course it will pass with the help of this module called magis hide props config also you need to enable the magis hide in the settings i have a video on this one too we can easily pass the safety status without any issues and like that if you go for the play store here we have the option of checking off if our device is certified and yes our device is certified so almost everything is quite good here performance is not up to the mark just from my opinions but not sure about you and as i previously told you the safety status is already passing well so let me show you once again with safety net status app so this is working fine let me show the geekbench score i already shared this on my my community tab if you haven't checked it out you can go there and this one is also kind of unbelievable 312 is a single core and 1381 is the multi-core score which is very very unbelievable 307 is honor 1312 is a single core for this time so this is good but multi-core almost nearby to 1400 which is more than enough Performance is not good and multi-core comparison of this Geekbench score is very very far good So of course, that's why I don't believe this Geekbench scores and all because real team performance matters instead of these scores Still, it's up to you if you want to install this build. The link for this build is in the description. You can go and install this. How to install this? I have some issues and I got many guys who have some issues like that. How you get this? And here, let me tell you one more thing. If you go here, um, sorry, this one is we have the bubble option available. Sometimes if you go here, let me show you where we have that bubble option. There is this. We have the bubble option available, which should work fine, which was working fine sometime, but not working fine now we have this option available like this if we go here as you can see sometimes it's working sometimes it's a first initial build but we can wait for this how to install this build let me show you you just boot into custom recovery once and how to boot into custom recovery you can go from here also as from the updater or you can use a uh, extended power menu if it is available for you like this one we have the power menu uh, recovery mode option available here too but you can simply move on from here if you don't want to enable that extended power menu you need to install a interesting custom recovery if you use orange fox you will see some encryption issues there and i got many users who were reporting about those encryption issues that might be very difficult for you to solve and i have a fix on that one too if you're getting those errors but I have a custom recovery which is working fine and has no issues like this kind of things and you can easily encrypt your device, decrypt your device without any issues. 
which is a custom recovery i am talking about let me put into custom recovery first and let me show you and the link for that custom recovery is also in the description but still i will just recommend you to use that custom recovery only for uh, this kind of builds like android 11 based miui 12 if you want to install other kind of things this is the recovery which i was talking about miui hella steam win recovery and you need to enter your password and your data will not move encrypted or decrypted or whatever else so this seems to be really nice and this was the thing i was looking for and finally it's working fine thanks to my friend prajwal who just got me this recovery and now what we can do is we let me do some stuff here if it is possible let me just change this brightness here brightness is quite bright okay so here we have this custom recovery option available team win recovery project which is based on twrp right now how to install that build it's quite easy first of all just go to your wipe and advanced wipe dalvi catch system vendor data all these things you need to click swipe to wipe and as i already told you many times i personally use orange fox custom recovery but this build has a different kind of scripts different kind of things so it's this recovery is recommended for you how to install that just to download that build and the link for that build is in the description i have this file xiaomi eu multi hm node 21.1.6 v12 etc click on swipe to confirm flash and it's done and now if you use this recovery you will not see any kind of encryption issues that will work fine very easy and this is all from today's video thanks for watching and goodbye